just want to recognize our crowd. Uh, it's a humbling each time we walk out there. We've worked so hard to build this program to the point where people can be proud of it and it can be consistent. And I'm not sure if we're there yet, but we're getting close. And um, just appreciative of people spending their time and money to come out and support our team. And um, just want to thank everybody that came to the game. Thank the season ticket holders. Uh, a lot of students, I guess, have stayed around and are coming to games right now. So it's, uh, it's really nice. Thank you. Uh, secondly, equally important, just want to tell you how much respect I have for, for Bakersfield and their coach, Coach Barnes. We've been doing a long time. Somebody that I look up to, guys in my kind of age bracket, you know, grew up watching his teams play. And they were everything that I told the guys that they would be today. That's a good team. It's a postseason team. It's a team that will compete for the championship. It's a team that has an identity. It's a team that doesn't quit. And uh, they're, they're really good. So I'm about as pleased as I've been in a long time sitting up here after a victory. And the main reason why is because I think we beat a really good, well-coached team. That's going to be an RPI win for us, in my opinion. I want to wish those guys and Coach Barnes the best of luck this season and a lot of respect for how they play the game of college basketball. Um, just be a leader out there, um, playmaker, whatever the team needs, try to um, try to do it. Do you kind of feel like Ramsey kind of was that catalyst for you all offensively in that first half? Um, no, I think we uh, had a, a bunch of um, team effort. Uh, Ramsey obviously – was scoring the most, but I, I felt like T.J. Shannon was doing his thing. Um, Kyler was doing his thing. I think it was a team effort. Kyler, in that second half, you made those three consecutive three-pointers. I guess uh, for you, did you kind of feel like you had to insert yourself, or did you feel like you got some good shots there and you took them? Oh, I, mean, I think I just played basketball. You know, if they came to me and I was open, I was going to take the shot. I mean, credit to my teammates. They kept looking for me and uh, had courage in me, had, had enough courage that I um, could make a shot. At that juncture, they kind of closed it in, as Coach Beard had mentioned. They kind of clawed their way back into it. How big were, was that 9-0 run that you kind of went on there? Uh, I think we needed it. We needed a lot of energy. And um, I think I think those shots I hit, I mean, that was huge for the game. I mean, I think it turned around, turned the whole game around. Uh, Kyler, you struggled with your shot at times this season. How good did it feel to hit those three threes in a row? I mean, it felt real good, you know, because my teammates, like I said, kept encouraging me the whole season. And coaches, you know, never never gave up on me. I mean, so it feels good just to finally see them go in. And uh, Chris, you guys had, uh, especially in the second half, able to get out and transition, get a few buckets there. Was there anything you saw in them that uh, made it easier for you to score in transition like that? Um, just our, our forwards and our big man are, I would say, faster than them. So as coaches have been emphasizing all week, we need to be running. We need to. Uh, pick up the pace, so we try to score in transition. Chris, for you, you're obviously known as a really, really good passer. Uh, in terms of offensively, do you ever feel the need to maybe get more aggressive when it comes to trying to score, or is it just flow of the game type? Uh, I'll say flow of the game. I feel like, you know, I've been playing basketball since I was two. I got a pretty good feel for the game. Um, but two? Since I was two. Was there like a league? There's a little, little small league. Two? Two, yeah. I, I'll tell you about it later. But um, um, like you said, I, I feel like sometimes I need to be more aggressive. But overall, I feel like I got a good fo a feel for the game. I really Think. want to see this, man. Like, <laughs> I'm serious. You see, you play basketball at two. Mm -hmm. oh, big time. No, I think it was last game where Coach revealed that you kind of came to him and said, hey, I just want to win, mm -hmm. even if that means coming off the bench. For you, when you were going and maybe coming up with that, thing you wanted to tell him, what was the main aspect that led uh, to that? Back to what you just said, I just want to win. Um, I knew Ramsey was coming back from his injury. I wanted him to come back strong for our team. He's our leading scorer right now. I wanted him to get his foot back, get his feet wet, and you know, get his mojo back. Kyler, when, when you're on a run there in the second half, did you see the emotion from Coach Beard and the passion? and? And how motivating is that for you to, to see that after you've had some success to, to see that kind of acclamation? Uh, seeing the emotion from Coach Beer, you know, gives me a lot of confidence because, you know, like he knows what I have in me. So, I mean, him just encouraging me gives me an extra boost. Well, we tell our guys all the time the key to any BCS game is rebounding, period. Um, I would trade out all preparation, scouting report, and practice and anything if I knew a team was going to go and block out and get rebounds for 40 minutes. That's just college basketball. So we set this up for our guys is this is our first uh, Big 12 game. You know, instead of the 18 game season, let's call it 19 because that's the respect we had for Bakersfield. Um, 
plan. I mean, just uh, you know, trying to stay committed to blocking out and rebounding down, and just understanding that's their identity. Thought for the most part, we did we did okay. I think it was about an eight offensive rebound game for them. Stat sheet's going to show you a few more, but a lot of those were when we blocked a shot, it goes out of bounds. I think it's one of those kind of weird stats in college basketball, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but no, the plan was just uh, to understand that's their identity. And if we don't rebound, we're not going to win. Was there any thought about when they send everybody to the, gla to the glass, trying to punish them by going back the other direction, you know, a fast break or anything like that? No. No. No, I, I've always thought the ball is more important than a fast break basket. So that's uh, that's some transcending stuff there. In the ABA, we played against some teams that used to do that, but we also used to play against teams that, you know, the point guard was also cooking the nachos in the concession stand. All sorts of crazy stuff in the ABA. Right, right Brad Reed. Try to get Brad to come play for me in the ABA, and he wouldn't come. That's a shame. Um, how many guys are you comfortable with uh, in a rotation right now against a Big 12 opponent, do you think? Yeah, so uh, Six, our rotations, you know, we, we've played 10 or 11 players before in conference basketball. I think our Little Rock team had 10 or 11 guys, and we were fortunate enough to win a couple championships that year. So it really just depends on team to team. Um, I just told the guys this in the locker room. We enter the conference season, and everybody's in the mix. You know, I thought Russ did a good job in the first half, gave us a couple defensive possessions against their best post player, who's a big time player down there, a bucket getter. Um, you know, we've all seen things Dre can do. Uh, Mac has played well at times, Clarence. Um, so everybody is in the mix right now. So, um, you know, we'll play as many people as we need to to win a game. And how would you assess generally your perimeter defense right now? Um, work in progress. So I. The more we continue to guard the ball better, less rotations we have to get in. But, you know, we're prepared to get in rotations too because it's kind of the way our defense is built. Coach, you mentioned how happy you are you are right now currently at the presser. Just in terms of getting a win over a good team, outside of just the win, what's the single most thing, I guess, here that you're uh, happy about or impressed with with your team? Well, it's my respect for the team we played today. Uh, coach can really coach. You guys saw it. You know, y'all know basketball, or at least some of you do. And, um, and he's controlling the tempo, and he's he knows what he's doing. And so we just beat a really good team today. And so I'm just I'm pleased with our team. You know, to be entering Big 12 play on Saturday, you know, and ranked in the top 25, and having the second largest home you know winning streak in a non-conference in college basketball, and you know, really making a dent with our attendance and stuff. Just a lot of things that we've worked really hard on. And um, you know, look, we got a young team, guys. We start two freshmen. We play five or six. We got two grad transfers that have only been in Lubbock five or six months. Like we're a work in progress, and I think I probably don't recognize that enough. You know, we have high expectations. We're hard on our guys. That's why they come here. They want to be coached. But you know, a day like today is kind of the second season starts. And, you know, reflecting a little bit, I'm proud of these guys. You know, I'm not satisfied. I never will be unless we can win that last game on that Monday night. But I am you know, I'm pleased with these guys. There's nobody I'd rather be coaching right now than this team and these guys. And, you know, it's not easy. You know, you, you come out, you play your first college game, and the Final Four banner comes down, and everybody always wants to talk about last year. And Wes writes this book that's killing it on Amazon, and everybody wants to get the book signed. And, you know, you know we got we got our own season going on here. And I think uh, these guys have, have uh, done a great job. You know, nobody can take last year from us, but this is 1920. And, you know, I, I like this team. I think we're going to be a part of the fight. You know, we, we've got a chance. And how would you assess your point guard play? You know, that's something that you've really been focused on in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, you guys know me. I really don't believe in point guard. I, I believe, you know, guards, forwards, guys that can play. So we've got a lot of playmakers on this team. Chris, Kyler, Morrow, you know, Mac, Clarence. There's a lot of guys. Holyfield from that forward position. So um, I like where our assists are. You know, we, we tonight's another night where we score. You know, 24 baskets and 16 of them are assisted. That means you're playing unselfish ball. That means somebody's making good passes. And so I think that's what most people kind of correlate point guard, that word playmaker is kind of what I've always thought. Uh, what would you like from Kyler tonight? I know 20 points for him. But not just tonight. I like the way Kyler stayed the course. And, um, you know, nobody's worked as hard as Kyler. Nobody wants to win. Nobody wants to make the shot as much as Kyler does. He's, uh, you know, statistically – um, he's just kind of been going through some adversity. But tonight, when we needed it most, 
against who I think is the best team we've played in Lubbock this year. You know, Kyler stepped up big. So, um, you know, Kyler will be back in the gym tonight. He will be in here tomorrow. You know, I have a lot of confidence in Kyler because I know what he's willing to do to do what we both want done.